And this is The Conversation Continues. We're talking about uh, Fire Union Chief Chris Steele, who has presented these three uh, charter change proposals to the voters. But now he is not willing to come on to shows like this or forums like we had at UTSA last week and discuss why he thinks these would be a great idea. Brian, what's your thinking about what his end game is and why he is uh, now turning over the reins to others? Well, I mean, I, th I think he would have a hard time in a engaging in actually honest debate about what these amendments would do. I think that what, what he, his argument is, is just not accurate. Um, when he says that this would give power back to the people, um, in fact, it would do the opposite. Uh, it, it would put the hands in it, power in the hands of special interests, and I think that if, if he were to engage in an actual debate uh, where he doesn't, you know, control the reins of, of where that debate goes and when he can cut it off, like Josh said earlier, um, he would he would get cornered, and I don't think he wants to be cornered. And I think it's important to mention that we have invited Chief Steele to appear with us on on the record, uh, and uh, we have never gotten a positive response from him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brian and Josh, one thing that you both have covered is that, ironically, this whole debate has appeared to drive a wedge in the Bear County Democratic Party. There was a news conference last week where some Democrats announced that they were backing this, and then the Democratic chair came out and said, wait a minute, no, we're not. I mean, uh, talk a little bit about this and, and what impact this may have on the Democrats' chances in November. Brian broke the story about a month ago. Yeah, about the... I, I think that there are there are forces behind this um, who are exploiting uh, the, the Democrats' natural affinity for labor, um, and that's very superficial. You know, we all a Democrat might say we always support labor; it's a traditional you know ally. Um, and when I say shadowy forces, um, <laughs> I, I, I've my reporting has has shown, although he denies it, that uh, the former party chair Manuel Medina is is working to. Uh, to whip this up. Um, of course, the fire union endorsed him in his mm -hmm. failed bid for mayor last year. Um, and, uh, y you know, the, it has, it has ca caused quite a division in the, in the party, and, and it, it goes to show that, uh, you know, th this uh, fire union campaign, which is essentially a, a, a conservative effort mm -hmm. to chip away at government, uh, you know, the, the fact that it's infiltrated the local Democratic Party does show how uh, politically savvy and, uh, uh, you know, the, the union has been and, and how the, their dirty tricks have paid off. And, Josh, you were at that news conference, and I thought it was interesting that at no time did any of the Democrats who were speaking out say, we support this thing on its merits. They said that we support this thing because we support labor unions. And then it turns around that uh, uh, some Democrats are upset because uh, the firefighters union has supported key Democrats like uh, uh, Will Hurd and Dan Patrick. Uh, Republicans, yeah. Key yeah. Republicans. Uh, yeah. And I think that, that at the press conference, it was as much about uh, those folks saying that they support firefighters as mm -hmm. anything. And I think what's really interesting is that Chris Steele's gone to great lengths to try to say that this is not for the firefighters, it's for the people. And yet he goes and holds press conferences with, with these people who say it's about the firefighters. And so there's kind of a little bit of, of uh, incongruity there. Uh, but, you know, the day after the press conference, the Democratic Party chairwoman sent out an, e an email uh, press release, uh, two-page release, uh, noting that um, the decision to endorse these uh, amendments had happened uh, with a minority of the uh, county executive mm -hmm. committee that had voted. Uh, she's suggesting that they're going to re-vote and, and discuss whether they can rescind the, uh, the endorsement. Uh, and she points out that the fire union has backed... Um, I think you know, upwards of 25 Republican candidates in Bear County, all of whom have uh, Democratic opponents that the county party has endorsed and is supporting. Uh, and so she said in that press release that, uh, that that the union is working in direct opposition of the best interests of the Bear County Democratic Party, uh, and, and she takes some significant um, umbrage to that. And Brian, this is just another example of how this thing is just creating chaos wherever it goes. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think, uh, you know, Chris Steele could be described as an agent of chaos, and uh, he has been uh, for, for years now, and, and he's just uh, uh, gone nuclear now. So. <laughs> Brian Chasnov is the Metro columnist for the San Antonio Express News. Josh Boss, senior reporter, thank you very much for joining us for, on the, on, for the conversation continued.